Hey everyone, so I have some great updates to share with you about USD file format. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Now, for those of you who are already turning to me being like, Phoebe, what is USD file format? I'm just gonna tell you right now, maybe skip this video. Um, USD file format is right now mainly used in the entertainment industry or gaming industry right now. And it's for like when you're connecting to Unreal or Omniverse or any of those big kind of very big 3D engines and um, studios and those types of softwares. So we're trying to make it as easy for you to really make your digital creation in more than just production, maybe continue it into the digital world. But if you're not ready for that, don't worry. Maybe one day you will, maybe you won't, it's all okay. But we now have improvements to our USD file format. Now, where can you find it? First off, if you go up top here to our settings, you can open up our new USD layering option. So in settings, display, you can go down to window and then there's going to be USD layer. So when you open that up, off to the left, you'll then see USD layer. You can click this and this will open. You could then go through and click and maybe create one layer. You can create another one. And you can start to create layers and all of that, export them out and everything. So the layers are really cool and all of that. You can also open up and bring in USD layers and if you'd like. I'm not going to. Or you could clear. Clear this all off and restart. Really cool update. USD layering. Now possible in Clo. Fun. Also, we made some updates when you're exporting out USDs. So if you go to File, Export, USD. I'm just going to say yes. First off, your UV editor will come up. That's because I checked this off. If I uncheck this, then it really wouldn't matter. But I am going to check this on so that I can see... Um, what's it called? So that I can see all my textures and the USD will allow for that. I can, of course, rename my meshes, which is an update and allow now for all of you guys. So if you would like know the right mesh naming that you want to do and all of that, you can do that. Same with your materials. You can rename that if you'd like. I've selected all patterns. I'm going to do multiple objects. I have it thick. We also have made it so you can include your garment stimulation information, data. Wow, that was a long sentence your garment simulation data, you can have that, along with fur strand data. However, I don't have any fur in here, so I'm not gonna check that on. And also a nice update we have is you can say like what your up access is, I did Y. I can then hit okay, and it's gonna bake and create that whole texture for me. Then if I want, I can of course bring this in so I can import add, I'm going to say USD. Open. Add, I'm going to say one. Okay. And here it is. And you can also see that the test that the USD layering automatically pops up too. I can use this drop down and see all of my mesh. And when I select it, you can see all of that. I can also see all of that pattern information. I can also see all the simulation data for the fabrics and all of that. Lots of info that again, like if you don't, if you're not really into the 3D pipeline and if you're not into anything at Afterglow, then maybe you're like, this is all going over my head, Phoebe. What are we doing? That's okay. It was a struggle for me to figure it out too. Um, but it is pretty cool. You can select your pattern here, see all of your information here. If you'd like, you can adjust and change things around like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna 
change this all. And yeah. And this will be great for then if I need to go into another software like Unreal or Omniverse or anything kind of like that. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Someone will get back to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out that channel of ours. It's got a lot of great videos for you to learn and like listen to. And thanks again so much for watching. Keep having fun in clouds.